Hey guys, what's going on? This is Johnny with Lopez Lawn. Uh, haven't been on YouTube in a while. We've been busy, but we're down here in good old Lawton, Oklahoma. We've already started our spraying. Actually, we started a day after New Year's. Uh, we always start in January, and then we'll hit it again uh, 1st of April. But we're putting down pre-emergent, post-emergent. Got a water softener in there to break up this hard water. This area here, their water is really bad, so... But guys are doing the hand sprayer right now. Usually on yards like this, they've got a lot of incline. I don't use my permagreen. Um, it's just easier pretty much to do this. I hate it with the hose because we've got to run two guys just to man the hose and one spraying. But let me show you what I'm working with. This is my 2003 Chevy one ton gas. Got the 6.0 in it. And this truck is my kind of do all truck. Uh, we run. During spray season, it's all it does. But other than that, when we're doing landscaping, uh, the bed here is eight by 11. We can put rock, dirt, pallets, sod. I put, I can put two pallets of sod easy on it. Uh, we use it for all that stuff. What I got back here, got the John Deere generator. It's a PRG 3600M. I use this for a lot of things. Uh, right now, we've got it hooked up to this nurse tank. It just got clean water and the way we do it is when we run low on one of these tanks over here we just got we have a hose right here so we can fill up all day long we don't have to worry about anything and we just kick the generator on gives us electricity for the pump that's in there and then uh, keep a little small hand sprayer just for little things and then this backpack sprayer on well, backpack sprayer this one here is a chapter battery operated uh, this is going my second season with it There's a battery. but just to give you guys an idea I paid 150 bucks for that thing brand new and we run it hard uh, let me come over here we run it hard and I'll tell you that battery at all the battery operated things I've ever owned that thing does not go dead we can run it and run it I've never yet so far I've run it over a year now and I've yet to run out of battery on a job. Now, do we use it every single yard? No, but we do. There's some yards that we have sprayed, like smaller backyards, we'll just use that. Uh, and I mean, we, we, we run it pretty heavy, I guess, but battery's good on that thing, especially after a year. Next, it's got this little trailer, it's a five by eight. Okay. But uh, I brought this last year. We did have all this on the truck. That was on the truck. That tank was on the truck. And I had a buddy manufacture me a, it was for the permagreen, like a, I don't know what you call those things, a ride on cart thing. And it mounted in the receiver of the hitch and it had a ramp so I could just drive that. But the problem was it bounced too much. And then I ended up welding these right there to the frame of the, the cargo thing. And and I, I just didn't like that because once that was on there, it was on there. So I ended up cutting it off, picked up this brand new trailer, basically brand new, low trail for uh, 400 bucks. Um, and uh, worked every bit of it. I mean, I got it really cheap from a guy. And then we have this tank here. It's 100 gallons, uh, North Star. It's got the Honda engine. And then over here is the Permagreen. Love that little machine. We're gonna buy a new one. Probably won't be till the end of this year, around October, I say. We're gonna order the new, the brand new Permagreen 2020. But uh, I'm gonna, eventually what I plan on doing is getting a enclosed trailer. Go get that side over there. And uh, when I get that, I'm gonna have all this stuff inside that enclosed trailer. So, sorry my guys, I was, they're over here spraying and telling them to get that spot before they start over here. In all my videos, guys, they're all basically kind of like live. Uh, I don't know how to edit. I just do everything off my phone, so what you get is what you get. There won't be no editing on this, so if you hear me say or talking to them guys, it's because that's just the way it is. But permagreens, if you guys spray, man, this is the way to go. I know there's a lot of other machines, and I'm sure they're good, but this is the first ride-on spreader sprayer I've ever owned. I've had it over a year now. Love it. 
nothing to look at, but it gets the job done, especially on the big yards that uh, we use it. We got a plant we're fixing to go spray. It's about an acre and a half, and we'll be using that. But uh, this is our setup for spraying. Like I said, I'm hoping by the end of this year, I want to get an enclosed, like a six by 12, and that way I can have everything contained in there. And all I have to do is hook on that trailer and go, and that'll free up some bed space on this truck. But for now, this works great. And I got everything here I need. And uh, we'll be spraying for the next three months. So, and then next month, we'll start scalping all these yards, cleaning them up. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be making more soon. We got some big deals going on. I got another trailer enclosed that we're getting brand new. It's supposed to be here in a couple weeks. And I finally decide on what mowers I'm getting. They're in. And I'll be doing a video on that. So, you guys have a good day.